Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to discuss about discover the new features of ASP.NET Core in .NET 8. So let's get started. So today's agenda is number one Blazor, in which we will be discussing streamlining SSR with Blazor components, also mastering form post in Blazor SSR, and named element routing in Blazor, and WebSill packaging for Blazor WebAssembly apps. Number five will be minimal APIs now support form binding. Number six boost your API development with HTTP files. Number second topic will be native AOT in which we will be discussing streamline logging and exception handling in compile time minimal APIs. Number third will be ASP.NET Core metrics. So let's dig in. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just three months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. All right, you are seeing correctly. The latest news about ASP.NET Core has been released. We are about to dive into all the exciting new features and updates aimed at providing you a more efficient and enjoyable development experience. The ASP.NET Core development team has been working hard on these latest features that have been released in this latest preview, Blazor enhancement, performance, improvements, and much more. Get ready to explore the ins and outs of API authoring, native AOT, and all the shiny new metrics at your fingertips. All right, let's talk about Blazor, streamlining SSR with Blazor components. Do you fancy fast-loading server-side Blazor pages? As of .NET 8, streaming content updates to client-side is possible with SSR server-side rendering. With async tasks running in a parallel and using placeholders, your pages will load faster than ever. Let's find out how. This is the new line of code you should add to your Blazor project. After that, adding this. In this way, the process that follows is that while the asynchronous task is running, loading will be displayed. When they complete their execution, the information will be passed to the client inside DOM. Okay now, mastering form pose in Blazor SSR. Exciting news. Now it will be easier to deal with form pose when it comes to SSR. Here's how to start. Create a model binding context with the cascading model binder component in your main layout. Add this code in the main layout define a form define a form in blazor using the added form component and always remember to set the method attribute for form submission handling so this is the code although model binding and validation features are yet to be introduced this is still a fantastic improvement for blazor users okay now named element routing in blazor now blazor has released an extraordinary feature that allow client side routing to specific html elements using url fragments no more endless scrolling or getting lost in your app, all thanks to URL fragment magic. So number one, just add an attribute, ID attribute to your desired element. Blazor automatically scrolls to the element when the URL fragment matches its defined identifier. If you are wondering why I named element routing in Blazor, well, here's a couple of compelling reasons. Effortlessly guide user to what matters most in your app without them manually scrolling a mile. Improve user experience with enhanced navigation capabilities and number third will be boost the overall usability and perception of your app. Okay now, bye bye DLL Wolves. WebCL package for Blazor WebAssembly apps. Are you tired of dealing with blocked DLL file downloads or DLL usage issues? WebCL packaging is here to save the day. WebCL removes native Windows execution content from .NET assemblies putting in an end to these frustrations. Start by adding WASM enable WebCL property to your project file like this. Okay now minimal APIs now support form binding. If you are a fan of minimal APIs you will be thrilled to hear that form binding for specific types is now possible without the assistance of the form from form 
attribute this update applies to iform collection iform file and iform file collection here you can see the microsoft example remember to protect your apps against x as RF attacks, this code sample will show you how to enable anti forgery service in ASP.NET minimal API. So, the last feature in Blazor is boost your API development with HTTP files. New API projects now come with an included .http file. So, here's the example which how it's look like. Get ready to make the most of this supercharged API development experience. Okay, now native AOD in which we are we will be discussing streamlined logging and exception handling in compile time minimal APIs. Did you know that you can now bring automatic logging and exception handling to your compile time minimals APIs through the request delegate generator? Microsoft sure knows how to cater to developers. Take a look at these API endpoints activated by enable request delegate generator through. So here's the example these are the endpoints in this example th in the case that you send any request but you do not provide the name parameter to hello you will experience a bad HTTP request exception the same applies here unparsable birth date parameter in the age endpoint will prompt another exception so as you can see here we are sending a request with hello uh, so parameter so it will give us exception microsoft.asp.net core http.bad http request exception so it will require a string name that is provided from the query string so same thing will apply with the age it will also give the exception bad http request exception fail to bind parameter date time birth date from invalid date so the last thing is uh, ASP.NET Core Matrix. The, the latest release brings new ASP.NET Core Matrix thanks to the awesomeness of System Diagnostic Matrix. Ha, huh, isn't that cool? Now you might be wondering, sure, that sounds great, but what is in it for me? Hold on to your hats because these new Matrix are a game changer, especially compared to those old timer event counters. Here's a taste of what's an offer with matrix new measurement types get ready for a whole new level of measurement goodness say hello to the counters gauges and histograms imagine all the possibilities with these new tools at your disposal number two is enhanced multi-dimensional value reporting who doesn't love adding a little extra dimension to their life with enhanced multi-dimensional value reporting you will be deep di dive deeper into understanding your application's performance. It's like having X-ray vision into your app, but you know without any side effects. Number third will be compatibility with cloud native ecosystem. Raise your hand if you love open term telemetry. This impressive addition ensures that ASP.NET Core Matrix play nicely with your favorite cloud native ecosystem. Finally, no more awkward silos and barriers, just pure harmony. So fellow c -sharp enthusiasts, are you excited to yet dive into the shiny new ASP.NET Core Matrix? I know I am. These new features are not just mind-blowing, but also insanely practical for optimizing our applications. Don't let your app's performance leave your guessing. Embarrass the matrix revolution and optimize your way to success. With enhancement to Blazor, minimal APIs, native AOT, and newly introduced Matrix, you can be confident that you will have everything you need to create performant and scalable applications with ACE. Don't hesitate to explore these features even further and integrate them into your projects today. Surf up the ride the wave of exciting new possibilities ASP.NET Core.NET 8 Preview 4 has in store for you. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest update. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com slash start dash now. Thank you.